How you doing? Greg Nichols here, MFN Realty. Hey, I wanted to talk to you about a house I, I sold recently, and it's uh, still vacant, waiting for the buyer to move in, and it's over in Fair Oaks, and I just wanted you to see it because I think it's a unique house. Actually, I want to kind of um, give a little bit of uh, recognition to the owner, the architect, the one who built it, uh, Stuart, and his wife Ruth, and um, we're over on Bannister Road, and I wanted to take you and show you around, so I'm gonna flip my uh, screen around, and I'm gonna show you the house, and as I go, as I go I'm gonna explain what they did here. Uh, it's a uh, two-story in Fair Oaks with a built-in pool on a half acre with a couple redwood groves, and uh, it's, it's a nice home. And so I hope you enjoy it. Now we're at the entry here, and there's a kind of a gate like this, and here's the home. Big, beautiful front lawn. Driveway that goes back to a detached garage in the back there. And here's the redwood trees. Got a little sunlight going on here, but there's some, about eight or nine of them right there. Big old redwood trees. Beautiful flowers. What they did was they built this house and they used a, a Stuart was the architect, and he used a, a theme from Rudolf Steiner, a famous architect, the founder and um, originator of the Waldorf schools. And there's actually a Waldorf school near here down the street. And uh, this guy, love to design homes and he designed them it seems like he designed them with children in mind for the holistic learning effect of having a design of a ch child growing up in one of his home designs so i believe stewart just did a uh he was influenced by that and i see a lot of stewart's touch in this and i see ruth's touch in this too that just as an example uh if you look up here at this entryway there's this angular uh, arch up there on that balcony. And then if you look, each of the, in the railing, each of the slats in each, each piece on the railing has the same angular arch. If you look at those closely, they are the same exact angles and cuts. And it's down here on the bottom too. And it's just done with a lot of detail and a lot of love. And the home has a lot, it flows very, very nicely. It, it, as you see over there, it's not a square home. It has a lot of curves, angles, and, uh, and you, you'll find rooms that have many sides, more than four sides, um, corners. So I'm gonna take you inside now to see this home. Walk through it. This is the entry. And this is the stair stairwell. Yellow. Take note of that. Yellow walls up there. Uh, because I have some Steiner pictures below, and you can see similarities. One thing I think is interesting, what they did when they designed this house, is they, this house is not too... Um, it's subtle. The Steiner influence is very subtle. Uh, Stein, some of Steiner's designs are much more elaborate, but I could see why they would make it subtle so it would appeal to all people and not just children <laughs> or people that are in love with Steiner's work. So I think I thought that was kind of genius, actually. Uh, this is obviously an office that they had. And I'm sorry, I'm not turning lights on or anything. I just want to do a quick video so you can see how this is. Beautiful ceilings, stained glass there, uh, angles on this, uh, on this fireplace and mantle. Um, then as you, as you look this way, you can see down into the kitchen and you can see the arches 
In fact, there's a lot of arches in this home. I'm going through an arch right here. And uh, you just see things a little different here, like this, the way this comes like that. Um, Built-in cabinets. High quality. You can just get a look, get an idea from this kitchen, all the detail. Many built-ins. All lovingly crafted. Then you go down this hall and there is an indoor pantry or a uh, pantry off this hallway. I don't mean to say indoor pantry. They usually all are indoor. But there's a laundry room in here. A bathroom. Very beautiful bathroom. Bedroom down here. This is very common in the house to have window seats like this built in. Uh, they look like Anderson windows. A beautiful wood style. This is a built-in unit right here. There's some doors over there. We have blue tile. I always thought this was beautiful right here. I'm showing you something here. Beautiful swinging door, stained glass, nice archway look. I'm going to open it back up. So I'm going to take you upstairs now. This entry is pretty too. Nice family got this home. It's a Waldorf family, by the way. And they were happy to get it. It's a kind of a, the place of their dreams, actually. Let's look back down here. This, as when I see Steiner pictures, this whole stairwell, the banister, everything about this reminds me of Steiner and you can look in here things are just a little bit more elaborate in this house like I say lots of uh, angles corners The wall on one end of the bedroom is much bigger than the wall, the length of the wall on that end of the bedroom. I'm not even sure my little video tour does justice to, to the house. It, it would have been so much better if I'd had the owners walk me through and point everything out. Also, uh, Steiner, I saw lots of these colors mixed in his, in his work on the internet. Pink, yellow. The house is kind of like uh, Wizard of Oz, Alice in Wonderland, Lord of the Rings, all mixed into one. This is a bathroom. Then there's a walk-through uh, closet to the master bedroom right here. And then you have this room. It's kind of like a lavender. But look at this. Look, look at this post over here. And the arch. It's just amazing. And 
you're not going to see straight lines in this house very much. Look at that ceiling line. It comes down here. Up here, you can see the same thing. Up there. When I had an appraiser come through this house, he was most impressed. He says, I think this house is just unique enough from all the others on the market to pull the price you got. That's what he said to me. Of course, I was ready with him with pictures of Steiner and this and pictures of this house. And then, of course, he could see them. You can see the window seat here. This is a yard. We're going to go out there in a minute. The beautiful decks. Built-ins. Okay. Now I'm going to take you out in the back. You can get an idea of it. How nice, the owner left two chairs for the new young couple, husband and wife. They left this little setting, but it's beautiful. Look at all of these angles. Again, look at the slats again. I'm showing you through a screen. All of those are hand cut individually to match what's going on up here on the house yeah this is this is a fascinating one for especially for realtors this is fascinating for architects uh, this house was actually a labor of love and again it, their their designs which are unique are also subtle so the house is interesting to a larger audience and i thought that was very wise of them this is the entry again, back down to the entry. Look at this. Look at the curves here. These are on purpose. You have that little, see that ceiling line? Same way down there. Same way with this. This is fascinating, these beams. Everything about this house is fascinating to me. And it took me a while to appreciate this house. Uh, I mean, I thought it was a nice house when I first saw it. But it took me a while to see the hidden things and the, uh, the, the genius that's in it. Now, you got to see this backyard. So hang with me on the video for a moment. And by the way, in the comment sections below on this video... I'll show you, I'll give you some uh, Steiner samples if you go down there and look and you can kind of see this is a beautiful deck made by the owner, Stuart. Beautiful. Pieced together. You can see the home, how the home bends and moves all the time. Uh, there's a big redwood grove right there. It was very wise of them to put in some redwoods. And now we're going to go down. Sorry, I'm kind of jerky on this camera. Gorgeous pool. Gorgeous pool. Here's the backyard. There's a story with uh, goes with that rock. Uh, there's a water, I believe a waterfall comes out of that rock. Little uh, statue there. Looks like one of the saints. Uh, another little statue there. Little girl. Maybe like a fairy or something. That's what someone said. 
So this is the extent of the yard. It's uh, it's a half acre, very, very far from the very front of the lot. This is a second structure, again, built in similar fashion. There's a deck in front of it. And uh, there's a second in-law quarters, guest house. Now I'm gonna fall back, just get the back of the house so you can see. Another statue out here. Now the owner would not take these statues. They do, they didn't wanna take anything away from the character of the house that they were leaving. So I think that's interesting and uh, nice of them. I'm gonna come over here. Got a fruit tree right here and another statue. Now, one thing I like is there's another grove of redwood trees on this property. It's right behind that structure there. And then uh, this grove of redwood trees. I also want you to understand, I run into a couple little uh, deer, a couple fawns, uh, grown up a little bit, but play, that play around here. And they kind of love this place. So anyway, again, there's some comments and links below. Uh, I wanted you to see this because as a realtor, this interests me. I think this would interest a lot of parents. It can give you ideas. Someone got this home now, but it can give you ideas for the future, what's out there, what people do, the way people uh, operate, creative people. That's what uh, this couple was, the owners of this home. Creative and ingenious and very nice, sweet people. Anyway, thank you. Have a great day for watching. Bye.